let's start with uh, the last episode I'll just run through the last episode what we went through and then by the time uh, uh, people have time to join if they are a few minutes late as well so uh, last season one episode nine was the last one we started with Bayasutra uh, we looked at how to stop the suffering so it was the opposite of um, the Paticca Sampade so we looked at how to Nirodha how to go through the Nirodha cycle instead of the uh, Dukkha cycle right so Avidya Asesa Viragi Nirodha Sankara Nirodha Vinyana Nirodha Nama Rupa Nirodha Salayatan Nirodha Spasha Nirodha uh, Vedana Nirodha Tanna Nirodha Upadana Nirodha Bhava Nirodha Jati Nirodha so that was the cycle we went through then jara marana soka paridheva dukkha domanasa nirujjanti that is how you get rid of the jara marana soka paridheva so we looked at that that was the first thing we looked at then we moved on to mahanama sutra uh, then uh, tathagata once explained mahanama when one concentrates on buddha as in bhave udura damana or Ragakkaya, Dveshakkaya, Mohakkaya. That person can prevent Raga, Dvesha and Moha thoughts coming in. The focus would be on Buddha, right? So the focus, there is no Raga, no Dvesha and no Moha. Therefore, there is no suffering. So there, it will result in a happiness. That happiness results in a pleasure. A pleasurable feeling and this is the way to get to the dhyana and um, even in the dhyana the the explanation of the uh, dhyana is preeti manasya kayo pasadhati pasadha kayo sukham vediyati sukhino samadhiyati so that is the the way to get to the dhyana so savitakkan savichara vivekajam preeti sukham patamajjana so that is how you get to the pratama Pratama Dhyana or Patama Dhyana. Okay. Moving on. Uh, we looked at Asan Asankeya Sutra. This was a, a, a also a very important one because this is how you create rivers of merits. Now, before one became Sota Panna, that person didn't have an idea as to how to create. Kusala Ganga, Punya Ganga, which is uh, known as rivers of merits. It's not tiny little bits of pieces of uh, merits. These are major ones. So how one can create is, there are four ways. One is Avecha Prasade towards Buddha, Avecha Prasade towards Dhamma, Avecha Prasade towards Sangha, and one gets into Aryakanta Sile. When one gets into the Aryakanda Sile, as in one becomes Sutapanna, Sakadagami, Anagami or Arihat, then the Punya Ganga and Kusalanganga comes flowing in. It doesn't apply to Rahatan Vahanse because once you become Rahatan Vahanse, then there is no, you don't create uh, merits anymore. There is no point in creating any merits, right? And it doesn't happen. And uh, the most important thing is there is no limit for the merits on this. Because this the, the closer to uh, Nivana you get or the closer uh, any activity is to Nivana, that will create the more merits. Right? In other words, uh, doing other meditations and achieving Samma Samadhi is also a very powerful uh, uh, merit. Right? So even after trying, if one cannot achieve dhyana, that is also okay because of the uh, the unlimited merits that you gain from trying to do it. Right? Then the next one we looked at was uh, making trushna second priority is not nivana. So just because you uh, put trushna into second priority, you're not okay. You're not focusing on trushna. You're just keeping that to a side. As in you're not going behind things 
because you are putting that to the second priority but that is not going to take you to nirvana uh, for certain right um, that was explained in the trishna sutra in angotra nikaya so the idea is to not let everything go because you need to attach to certain things in order to walk the path 